Let's take a quick look at what happens when uh, we have a rising transition on our inputs here. This is just the pull down network. At our previous time, this starts out, our output voltage starts out at high. Initially, uh, our load capacitor is all charged up to power supply. A is going to be high all the time because we know that this switch, if it's not on, uh, this output's not going down, it's in series. In our first condition, we're going to have an input, B is low, okay, and B is going to just stay low the whole time. We have a transition on C, C is going to start low and it's going to go high, all right, so C is low, it goes high. At this moment, we now have A is on, C just turned on, there's going to be current flowing this direction, discharging C low, the output's going to go down, and that path is going to be through just this transistor. All right, so it goes up. Our output voltage then, I'll use Y, it started red, it goes this way. Right here, C turns on, our output uh, is going to go down at some speed. This is kind of greatly exact, or zoomed in onto this uh, slope. We might compute a, a delay time of, of uh, this time here, 50% to 50%. All right, next up is we're going to actually have not just B, or B is going gonna, is gonna to go from low uh, to high, and also C is going to go low to high at the same time, or at basically uh, the same time. During that transition, now I have, uh, don't have enough colors, but now this is, this is uh, number one, number one option. If B and C go high at the same time, B, this switch and this switch, they both turn on. So now our current goes through A, it always goes through A, and it goes B and C at the same time in parallel. So this is option two. And if these are equal size, we're going to get uh, a little extra. Uh, the current will split here in some way. The output's going to start high, and then when it goes down, do you see how that there's less series resistance? Let's call all of these transistors to be equal width. We know when we size things, it would be like 2x and 2x. This would also be 2x. Our pull-down network resistance would be equivalent of like, let's just call it, well, if this is a two wide, and this is two wide, and this is two wide, it would be one half. Remember, there's only one path here, plus one half, and that would be one unit of resistance, and we'd have a certain certain time. Our input here, in this case, it's going to be our pull down network is going to be one half, because this transistor is double wide. But this one, we have two transistors in parallel. That's just that's having two transistors, and it's as if that transistor is double wide. And it would be one fourth of the resistance because we have two plus two here on the bottom. Then we end up with a resistance of what was this three fourths of re on resistance. That's less, that's less of a time constant. And if you look, 50% to 50%, this is a shorter it's a shorter delay time. And because we have an idea of the general uh, trend of the resistances, we know that our delay time goes from one and it goes down to three quarters. And then we also know by a factor of three fourths to one, or three fourths, it works out, the math works out. Factor shorter. 
So we know that it is shorter. It makes sense that we have this uh, re equivalent series resistance is less. We can even predict how this series resistance changes. It's less. We're going to expect to see a T P H L that's three quarters or 75% smaller.